everyone, I'm Alice and I'm here today with my unboxing of Fairy Loot's Adult August book. So I will be honest, I can't remember what book this is going to be, I have no idea what the prompt was, they're announcing so much at the moment and doing so many aesthetic reels for things in like October and November that I, I cannot keep track of what's going on with Fairy Loot at the moment. I think it's brilliant because they've got so many things going on and they're always announcing something new but it does make it very hard to keep track of what is arriving in the post when. So we're going to find out together. So the theme for this month is Powerful Bloodlines. And we have got here, is that purple? Okay, this is exciting. I always love a purple book. Go on, fairy loot. Okay, so we have an art card of one of the main characters and we have Forged by Blood by e Egibor Okusen. I've noticed in the author's bio it actually has a pronunciation guide for her name and I just wanted to correct it because I know I butchered the pronunciation when I was reading it out earlier. It's Ehibo Okusun. This is stunning. I love the light foiling. If you've watched my videos before you will know that I really like it when there's a little bit of foil with the illustrations. So all of these armbands being foiled and then the gentle foiling on the feathers is very appealing to me. They took her language, her mother and her home. They hunt her people for the blood magic that sings through them. Now Demi has their prince and no intention of letting him go. There will be blood. Ooh, sounds definitely menacing. And then we got the sprayed pages there. So you've got the purple block at the bottom. And then, if I can get the little black fibre from the bag off of it, you've got a very, very pale blue at the top and then this ombre with the cover art copied which is very cool. It's super crisp. The detailing on these edges is amazing. So I really hope that I love this book. Then we have another big winner for me. Okay, so the end paper artwork also has the foil accents around the outside. We've got foiling on a purple and blue marbled hardcover case, which is stunning, with more detailing on the back as well. Different end papers at the back, again, with this foil detailing. Really loving the amount of foil this month. Fairy that you've definitely thrown it at it. And then we also have under the dust jacket on the reverse a different cover which has the book title and the author name on the spine. So it can actually be used as an alternative dust jacket. I really love it when book boxes do this. I think having the art underneath is nice, but when you've actually got it that you can flip it over and still see the author's name and the spine, like the author's name and the title on the spine. I really like that. That's great attention to detail. So let me tell you who the artists are that are involved in this edition and then we'll read out the blurb and see what this book is about. Because I will be honest, I haven't heard anything about this one before, but it's very, very beautiful. So the full colour design with foil details on the hardcover is by Blanca Design. The reversible dust jacket and the end paper art are by Rosalind Arts and the character print here is by 8-Bit Faz. We also have bonus content in here apparently which is interesting and it said that there is a digital signature as well. So the blurb for this one is Demi only wanted to survive to avoid the suspicion of the tyrannical Ashes occupying her homeland, to escape the king's brutal genocide of her people, the Oluso, and to live peacefully with her secretive mother while learning to control the blood magic that is her birthright. But survival has given way to vengeance. A betrayal has cost her mother's life, and Demi demands payment. She bides her time until the devious Lord Equenzi grants her the perfect opportunity, kidnap the Aji prince, and bargain save the remaining Oluso. She sets out on her hunt with her childhood friend Colin in tow, but the way ahead proves far more dangerous than either of them could have imagined. For she and the prince share more than deadly secrets, and every moment will tangle them further into a forbidden, unmistakable attraction. If she is to claim justice for her mother and her people, Demi will not be able to trust anyone or anything. Not Colin, not her fledgling magic, not even her own heart. 
that sounds really really interesting i'm surprised i haven't seen more about this one because this sounds like everything that people normally hype up in a book it does sound a little bit YA, um, but then I've said that about a couple of the Fairy Loot adult picks this year, that the blurbs come across very YA, and I have had some comments saying that the actual content of the books is much more adult than it's initially kind of led to seem. So this is definitely one I'm going to be picking up soon, and I'm looking forward to finding out how I feel about it. I also love the fact that I just randomly grabbed this shirt and I've managed to nearly like colour match myself perfectly to the book that is that is like unintentional and i love it so i am alice this is the bumbling blogger i hope that you enjoyed this unboxing please let me know what you thought of this book if you also received it or if you've read it what you think of it um whether you would recommend it if you didn't get it whether you're really gutted because of how gorgeous these frayed edges are uh, leave a like if you like this uh leave a comment if you'd like to discuss and thank you again for watching and we'll see you soon with another video bye Do you want to come on through, Sean? Yes. Before I read the blurb out. <laughs> nearly got done, nearly got done. I love you. Please don't look at the camera. <laughs> You're very hot.